It was a colorful and joyful event as Imo women across the 27 local government areas of the state came out in their numbers to welcome the wife of Nigerian president, Olure Mutinubu, to wear the Imo state capital. The president's wife was in the state to witness the 2023 grand finale of Imo women August meeting. Governor Hope Ozadima's wife, in her speech, urges the women to rise up and help government to enthrone peace, thereby putting a stop to insecurity in the state. Without peace or in an atmosphere of strife, we are all living witnesses to, to the pervasive insecurity in our land. Although it is the responsibility of the government to ensure security of lives and property, we as women, as mothers, as wives, as grandmothers and, and all have a big role to play in finding a lasting situation to the problem. It is our duty to turn to our children, our young ones, not to lose hope, but to pray for a better tomorrow. We join our voice with them against every form, against every forms of sexual and domestic violence. Fight against trafficking in persons, drug abuse, and other gender-based policies in the society. Empowering women is not just a slogan for us in the Renewed Hope Initiative, RHI, but a commitment towards a better life for families in every state of the Federation. The Imo State Governor used the opportunity to highlight some of the things the federal government has done for the states and the benefits accrued from the visit of Mr. President's wife. So on behalf of the people and the government of Imo State, welcome the mother of the nation, first lady of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, who have come to add special color to this year's August meeting grand finale who also supported us through counterpart funding for the empowerment of our people. We support women and uplift their status. We uplift our entire society. And this empowerment extends to women of all ages, from the young girls who dream of their future to the elderly who have shaped our past. These are the hallmark of the Renewed Hope Initiative it is an initiative which is focused on women and families with its scope in agriculture, education, health, economic empowerment and social investment. The event witnessed a match pass from the women across the 27 local government areas of the state. Some dignitaries present at the occasion include members of the National Assembly, ministers, governor's wives from other states and politicians.